Begin tonight with a staggering breach of security at the Royal Canadian Mint, where an employee allegedly stole a fortune in solid gold nuggets. Prosecutors say he did it by stuffing the loot in a body cavity, the same tactic used to smuggle contraband in prisons. Surveillance video obtained by CTV News shows the refinery worker casually going through a metal detector and being frisked by security. He then walked out of the mint with the fortune allegedly still concealed. Our newest Ottawa correspondent Kevin Gallagher has the details. Imposing stone walls, thick iron gates, and all seeing security cameras. The Royal Canadian Mint in Ottawa is a fortress that houses billions of dollars in gold. Employees are subject to tight screening, but in this video obtained by CTV News, Mint employee Leston Lawrence, shown here tripping the metal detector, is accused of smuggling the precious metal out the door by hiding it, the Crown says, where the sun doesn't shine. Over a four-month period, Lawrence sold close to $180,000 worth of gold to this store. He would then walk down to the other end of the mall and deposit $7,000 checks at his bank. A teller became suspicious because he was a Mint employee sending money out of the country. Police arrested and charged Lawrence with theft, but the Mint never noticed anything was gone. The stunning lack of inventory control that this this amount of gold was not missed. Uh, how, how, how could that happen? The Crown says Lawrence was stealing these gold pucks, created with a special dipping spoon the Crown says is unique to the mint, but the defense disagrees. Their position is that these things could not be created anywhere other than the mint. We're saying that you can't prove these can only come from the mint. Among what the Crown calls compelling evidence is a jar of Vaseline found in the suspect's locker. Meanwhile, the Mint has made changes. We continuously assess and update our security measures and protocols to help us manage potential risks, and we are more vigilant than ever. Those updates include adding high-definition cameras and extra training for Mint security officers. The judge is expected to reach a decision on the case in November, Lisa. All right, Kevin Gallagher in Ottawa. Thanks for this, Kevin.